the only apology the internet will get. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you weren't in that relationship. I'm sorry you didn't feel what I felt. I'm sorry we don't have the same triggers. I'm sorry. I'm so wait, I fucked up. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Jay Shanice. So let's get into this. Zay done apologize. Her comments is turned off on Instagram. She is not fucking with us, okay? She, this, I'm telling you, this is not what she thought it was going to be at all. Like, literally, her friends clapping at the wedding. They were telling her, like, when the world sees this, everybody's going to have your back. He is going to be so upset because people are going to be getting in his ass. And guess what? Karma came back and kicked her in her ass. It just came back so quick. You know how people be like, karma going to get you. Wait, what goes around comes around. And baby, it came around quick. It came back real quick. It got her real quick, okay? She was not expecting this backlash because this is not what her friends and family told her, okay? This is not what they told her was going to happen. And she was not prepared. She was not. So, she, got, she gave an apology to Cole that I think was not needed. Leave that man alone. Move on with your life. Get him out of your mouth, okay? Keep your name. No, keep his name out your mouth, okay? So I decided that I was going to read y'all the apology. Yes, I got my glasses on and I'm ready, okay? Listen, Cole, I fought for us until I couldn't anymore. I know you know that. I know you know why I said what I said. I know you know what you did. It's okay if you aren't ready to talk about that yet. Zay, what in the hell? What kind of apology is that? Girl, if you're gonna have two seats, leave this man alone. Let Cole live his best life. Why are you adding him into this, okay? The only apology the internet will get. This is the only apology we gonna get. This is all she's saying. She's done with us, okay? We didn't ask for an apology. We don't give a fuck. Like, girl, when they release the next Love is Blind, we'll forget you ever existed, okay? D girl, you could have just kept this. But I'm gonna read it for y'all. Because I love y'all that much that I'm gonna read it for you. Here we go. The only apology the internet will get that we didn't fucking ask for. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you weren't in that relationship. I'm sorry you didn't feel what I felt. I'm sorry we don't have the same triggers. I'm sorry me standing up for myself offended you so greatly. I'm sorry you didn't see all the reasons for what I said. I'm sorry you didn't live with me. I'm sorry that you don't know me. I'm sorry your insecurities are different than my own. I'm sorry your online hate says much more of you than it will ever than it will ever will of me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry Deepta's wedding was a week before mine, long before before you or I knew her story. I'm sorry you, you are attacking my faith. I'm sorry you don't believe me. I'm sorry I know how, how worthy I am. I'm sorry you have the time to be a keyboard warrior. <laughs> Bitch, you're the keyboard warrior. Why do you do this on the Instagram? You know what? Mm -mm, mm -mm, I ain't done. I'm sorry I'm not a paid actress. I'm sorry I can't cry on demand. I'm sorry you feel manipulated and gaslighted and played. I'm sorry I'm your villain. I'm sorry I'm your bad guy. I promise you, I'm not. One thing about me, I choose my words carefully and I stand by everything I say, bitch. <laughs> okay. So she said, I'm sorry for 2004. I'm sorry for 2004. <laughs> Listen, she was going off on that. I'm sorry. Okay, I said, girl, you might as well wrap that shit. <laughs> Period. But that was an aggressive apology. I'm just saying, like, what kind of apology was that? Why you gotta be so damn aggressive? Why you gotta call us keyboard warriors? <laughs> girl, bye. I didn't say nothing on the, the Twitter. I did say something with my big ass mouth. I was like, la, 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 la. you know me. But listen, she need to leave Cole alone. She need to leave us alone. It'll blow over soon. We don't give a fuck. 
we just talking shit, girl. It ain't even that deep to us. Really, it ain't. We don't give a damn. At least I don't. Like, girl, I'm gonna talk my shit and then go on The Bachelor in Paradise and some more shit, Love Islands and dumb shit like that. Girl, you the least of my motherfucking time or worries. But what you did was fucked up. And leave Cole alone. Move on with your life. Cole don't need to talk to you. Y'all don't need to have kumbaya. None of that. Y'all don't need to have none of that. I just hate that she even apologized. Like, that is the most aggressive apology I ever done read in my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not the bitch you need. I'm sorry I don't have a big ass. I'm sorry I ain't got big titties. You know, that's something you would say to your ex in a text message. Like, really going off on him. And he'd be like, I still don't give a damn. I'm going to call you in two weeks. You'll cool off. You'll cool off. Listen, we ain't worried about her. As soon as she will turn on the comments. Soon she will be back. She got like 300,000 uh, followers right now. So people still following her. You get what I'm saying? She gonna be all right. She's okay. Literally. Let me see. Let me see. Let me let me go to her. Uh, let me go. See? 337,000 people is following her. She gonna be just fine. But she need to go on and just delete that um, apology. Because that's some bullshit. Y'all gotta tell me y'all thoughts on it. But I was just reading it like, girl... Is she serious right now? Like, you don't even have to go there. Why? What for? It was like a year ago, right? Over a year ago. Who cares? We just seen it. That's why we're reacting to it. But really, at the end of the day, it don't even fucking matter. I wouldn't apologize if I was her. Who gives a fuck? I look like this. I, You know what? Maybe I'll fix myself. But you know, at the same time, she didn't expect this. Her friends didn't expect to have this backlash. She thought that people, you know, I'm sorry my friends clapped for you at the wedding. Like she thought it was all good. And it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't right. It wasn't fair. Cole is not perfect, but nor are you. When are you going to take some blame in this situation? You the one that's saying you don't look good without makeup. You the one that was saying this. And then when he agrees with it, it's a problem. What the fuck? I don't know y'all. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I just want to come out here and talk about Zay's damn apology. I, girl she on an apology tour I guess who gives a fuck really like girl we don't care that deep we don't care that deep it's just not that deep like we're done the season is over okay bye see you later bye you know and people said they felt like she was trying to have a deep up moment but I feel like it was different because Shake was really that goddamn bad he was really that what told her she looked like his auntie didn't she didn't he say that like, and that he liked it, a certain type of girl. And I see he's with that certain type of woman on his Instagram. And I'm just like, okay, sir. Anyways, but everybody seems to agree that they should have got on Bartice's ass instead of Cole. But when you're dealing with a manipulator, a liar, and let me tell you something about manipulators and liars. They believe their own stories that they tell people. They believe their own lies. And I know people are saying she needs to go see a therapist. But the thing about a manipulator and a liar is that they are going to lie and manipulate their therapist too. It doesn't matter who it is. The therapist, their person they're in a relationship with, their fucking children. They don't care. They're going to do this anywhere, anywhere, any place to any person. When they're literally trying to look like the victim... Baby, if you're the person that they're trying to make be the villain and they are the victim, they will throw you under the bus, okay? They will run you over, back up over you, do it all over again. They do not give a fuck. And they're standing 10 toes down. It does not matter if they're right or wrong. Baby, they're standing 10 toes down. Ain't nobody gonna convince them that you, that they're wrong. Because this is the story they literally put in their head. And sometimes they start believing their own lies and their manipulative ways, period. All that's going to happen in this story is that she's going to end up with a man that's just like her and they can manipulate and lie to each other and they'll, they'll live happily ever after. I'm telling you now. It's it's a sh show. It's a, I just feel so bad for Cole because he was just so upset. I mean, I'm telling you, when he just was like, you're lying, you're lying. Like, I felt that in my soul. That I was like, this man is telling the truth. He was upset, like, you are lying. And she's like, no, I'm not. But the thing is, she really believes that she's not. She literally believes her story. I'm telling you, okay, I was raised with one, my mother. I'm telling you now, she believes the story she has told everybody. 
point blank period you can't convince her anything different i'm telling you now and therapy ain't gonna fucking work <laughs> like share comment and subscribe i will see y'all in the next video bye